Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at defensive turrets. So, as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to make turrets to defend yourself against mobs, other players, and passive mobs as well. So, it's a really well made and fantastic plugin. It's got loads of cool features. So, what we're going to do is place down three blocks for each of the three different types of turrets and then have a look at what we can do with this plugin. So if we go up to this chest, which has all of the different turrets in, we can have a look. So there is the laser turret, there is the siege turret, and there is the burst turret. So as you can see, they all have different um, damages and different cooldowns, ranges, and you can also upgrade them individually. So it's pretty cool. They've got different features, each one of them. So we're going to go ahead and look at the commands now. So if we do forward slash DT help, that's going to get up the menu. And then if we do forward slash DT reload, if we've made any changes to the config, but if we do DT give burst and then my username, we will get the burst turret. If we do the same with laser, we'll get the laser turret. And then if we do the same with the final one, the siege turret, we are going to get all three. So let's go ahead and look at the laser first. So pop it down and we're going to see it creates a turret and it's even got a holographic display above it if you use holographic displays with it, which uh, I'd recommend. So if we right click it, there's a really cool GUI. So in the middle, we can go ahead and upgrade the turret and in the top right, we can switch some options so we can tell it who we want it to, to attack and who we want it to ignore. So if I pop down a spider, for example, nothing is going to happen. But if I go back into the GUI, and click the top right hand corner and select attack monsters it will start shooting him now unfortunately for us the spider has gone out of range which is why he is now safe but if I put one down a bit closer um, he will get killed so even if we upgrade it it's still a bit far away unfortunately so if I pop down a spider here he is going to get shot and immediately he's gone so um, <laughs> they are very efficient and he just stepped back in within range and he got got as well so there are some cows and if we turn on passive mobs uh, after we have a look at that so enable that and it is swiftly going to get rid of them as you can see so there we go a couple more left and it is really doing work and then we can disable it for when we look at the next turret so the next one is going to be the siege turret this one's pretty cool uh, especially if you're attacking maybe someone's castle or something so as you can see, the holographic display shows information about it. Uh, once again, we can upgrade it. And as you can see, the damage and range and everything goes up. And what we can do, we can pop down the mob. And as you can see, it's like um, a medieval siege weapon. So the ballistic goes up in a curve and then will come down and explode, killing whatever it hits. So as you can see, it's very powerful. Good for um, if you're being attacked by a large group of mobs or players. Um, and if we pop down loads of chickens, we will see this in action when we uh, put on passive mobs. So let's go ahead and switch that on now. So click on attack animals and away it goes. So it's going to swiftly get rid of all of them, taking out multiple at once. And it's just fantastic. This plugin works really well and is designed really fantastically. So finally, we have the burst turret. This is my favorite. It works the best, in my opinion. And once again, let's upgrade it to the fullest. And if we turn off attack monsters and turn on attack animals, it's just going to mow them down like a machine gun. Absolutely, absolute carnage going on here. Um, the area littered with the remains of various animals and mobs, and it just gets rid of them like that. So that is everything in the plugin overall. Obviously you can click destroy turret if you want to get rid of them for whatever reason. Uh, but you can go ahead and place it back down and obviously upgrade it again, which is really awesome. And you can have multiple of these. So if you had a base, you could put one on each corner and you'd pretty much be safe uh, from anything, in fact. So if we were to switch all of them on and put down some mobs, they are not going to stand a chance. Look at that. They're just getting wiped out immediately. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I feel kind of sorry for them. But uh, that is the plugin. That's um, a good showcase of it. It's really cool. Um, probably one of my favorite plugins I've seen this year, in fact. So that is everything in game that we can do. Uh, very simple and just brilliant, really. So we are going to have a look at the config file and see what we can do in there as well. So here we are in the SMP control panel in the defensive turrets folder. And as you can see, there are three YML files and a folder. 
So if we start at the bottom in the players.yml, this is just going to have a list of players and which uh, different turrets they have. So you don't need to mess around with that. Just shows what we had in game. The messages.yml, as you would imagine, shows various messages in game. So it will also show the holographic information if you use holographic displays and um, it will show various options that are on and off and the different colors etc and also the prefix so you could change that but you don't really have to and then the config.yml so this is the main one so in here what we can do we can enable and disable various things so up at the top we can enable turrets only when the owner is online that could add an interesting dynamic uh, do you want a minimum distance between the turrets so uh, this could be good to make it more fair so if you had that as maybe 20 uh, people couldn't just have 300 turrets for example do you want to limit the amount of turrets people have so it might be a good idea because they're so powerful to not allow people to have more than maybe a couple you know um, do you want information to show on the holograms as well as the damage and do you want per turret for missions as well down here we have a couple of things about the GUI, so the back item, the turret options item, and the delete item. And do you want to protect turrets from explosions? Uh, yes or no? Probably yes to that. Then if we go into the turrets folder, you can see the three awesome turrets that we have in game. Let's just go into the burst one and have a look at this one. And as you can see, uh, we have information about the upgrade, so how much it costs. So 800 for the first upgrade, 2500 for the second. You also get a sound uh, when you do that and we have um, information about the items so the first upgrade is coal block and then emerald and then redstone and it gives you information about what it does as well so that's pretty cool and obviously the other two are going to be the same so if we go into laser uh, this is just going to have um, a different sound the same price and just upgrading with the same blocks. So uh, that is everything in the uh, config files. It's pretty straightforward and it's just a really fantastic plugin. So if you do want to download it, I'd highly recommend it. You can come to the Spigot page and download it for free. It was updated yesterday. It's working for all these versions, which is uh, really good. And there is a lot of information on the Spigot page. So there's a nice GIF here. Um, you can see all of the stuff the developer has written on here, how to use it. Uh, you can even change the sounds, I think he's um, put information about, which is cool. You've got some permissions, so what you want the limit to be. And you've just got, you know, everything else. So various tutorials if you get uh, confused. So that is everything on here. If you want a server to host it on, check out servermining.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. If you want to check out more of my tutorials, they'll be uh, at the end of the video and also in the description. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.